Well, good afternoon, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. Thanks for logging on to this quick forecast update today. It's 243 here in the afternoon. Martin Luther King Day 2015 and uh, absolutely gorgeous weather out there. Uh, we really couldn't ask for better weather. I mean, this is January. We're already at about 50 degrees across the area outside. And, and uh, we well, we just, we really just, uh, this is just absolutely beautiful weather. You really, you really just got to enjoy this. Now, uh, mostly sunny skies around here. As I take off the temperature data here, you can see a little disturbance that's moving in from Iowa and and uh, this really will sort of graze uh, portions more towards the north of us. I think pretty much most of us here in southern Indiana are yeah, going to miss out on this one. It's going to be a pretty nice evening overall. Let me just take a look really quickly here at temperatures. We have warmed up very nicely. In fact, we've actually now warmed up to the mid-50s here over portions of the area. Still sitting at 49 around uh, the Washington and Bloomington areas. 53 Evansville, 54 here in Huntingburg, and 55 down there or around Standerford Field in Louisville. So it's a very pleasant day around the area. Temperatures tonight going to fall back up to near the freezing mark under uh, a mostly clear sky initially, maybe going partially cloudy a little bit later, but uh, not a bad night overall. And uh, the good news is I don't see a whole lot of things that are going to be affecting us. Let me just show you a high resolution uh, future radar here just to give you an idea. There's that system uh, that from Iowa coming in up towards the north. And you see how it pretty much breaks down by the time it gets to us later in, in the evening really hits uh, portions towards Indianapolis and northward. Uh, nothing really for us to worry about and then sort of goes away. There is another clipper system that wants to try to dive in on Tuesday and you can see uh, down in southern Kentucky there is just a little bit of precipitation with this. It again looks like we miss out on this. Another clipper system on Wednesday that will uh, bring some snow up to the north of us might give us the hint of a, of a stray shower or two but again not a, not a whole lot here going on for us and as we take a look toward it at the extended uh, period here well here you go you can see there it is by the time Wednesday comes along there's that little clipper system up to the north some of the modeling in the past uh, a couple of days has indicated that maybe there's a chance of a strike of a slight uh, stray shower or something down towards us really not much going on though as far as any action for us is concerned uh, I, I've given it a slight chance of a shower or maybe even a snow shower uh, there's still questions on uh, on Wednesday what we'll get out of that it just depends on the time of the day but it is a very small chance in fact most of us probably won't see anything and as we continue to put this into motion what you can see is we kind of stay sandwiched in between systems systems going to the north and to the south of us. In fact, we don't get another big system coming in until maybe the weekend. Here is uh, Sunday evening uh, into the overnight period and the GFS indicating that maybe we have the chance of some light snow moving in there on uh, on Sunday evening and then on to Monday, but we'll just have to see how that pans out. Nothing is set in stone yet by any means. And of course, with the way we've handled uh, the snow so far uh, this winter, uh, it, it, it's almost in a I'll believe it whenever I see it kind of a scenario here. Uh, regardless, what you see is uh, uh, some clippers that move mostly out of our area, but nothing really big for us until you get maybe into the extended period, but this is almost fantasy land by the time you're 348 hours out. Uh, a decent looking snowstorm over us there to maybe to open up February, but again, like I said, that's fantasy land this far out. Uh, much can change. In fact, one model run that could be completely gone. So we'll take that with a big grain of salt and sort of leave it at there. So right now, folks, I just don't see a big storm system impacting us for quite a while. I see some small clipper systems that might move through, but nothing too big. And temperature wise, not bad either uh, as far as things are concerned for the next few days. Now there are hints that later on in the month that we still have a big cool down that could be coming. Here is what the, uh, the European ensembles are saying. Its control run gives us a very cold uh, look to uh, temperatures as you uh, head uh, really into about the anywhere from the 26th to the 29th is what the models are saying for the cool down but if you, this is the control run which is basically just the European uh, regular model run at a little bit lower resolution and then uh, they take that and they tweak it a little bit and run multiple uh, variations of this and put them all together and that's called an ensemble and then the ensemble mean is the average of those variations well here's the ensemble mean for that and you can see a much uh, it's still a chilly look but it's a much warmer look than what you see 
see here in the control run. And that's pretty much the same way for the GFS as well. The GFS is suggesting maybe a bit of a chill here, but if you go into its ensembles, you're wanting to look. I, I don't have a, a nice zoomed in view like this, but uh, this is the one you're looking at right here, and you can see it's still it's got a chilly look to it, but it doesn't have a very cold look to it here. Canadian model, very similar here. It is a, a kind of a chilly look in its control run, a little bit less chilly look in its ensemble mean run. So again, there's major questions as to how big this quote unquote cool down could be later in the month. Well, if you believe the control run of the European model, uh, it could be a pretty significant cool down where we could be talking temperatures into the teens for highs. But if you believe the rest of the modeling, uh, maybe 20s uh, so and maybe even 30s. In fact, if we look at the raw data from the GFS ensembles, you can see we don't even dip in down to the 20s here. So uh, again, mild weather as far as January is concerned. In fact, let me just look over here. You can't see this, but I'm looking at another screen here. Uh, my average is the average high today is 37. And by the way, this is the lowest we get. The average high tomorrow goes up to 38. And then by the time we would hit uh, this particular time frame over in here uh, where we're taking a look at the big chill down, uh, you know, the average high is 39 degrees. So uh, seasonable weather, anytime you, if the average high is 38 or so, you're hitting 41, even to 43. That's barely above average. That's more just sort of seasonable weather. You can see we do have the chances to go uh, a little bit below normal the further on into the outlook that we go, but really not that bad. I don't really see any extreme cold right now uh, outside of one model wanting to show an extreme cool down. What I see is a lot of other models that are showing maybe a moderate cool down later in the month uh, with temperatures. The moderate cool down, of course, would be temperatures in the low 30s or upper 20s. We can handle that for January. Temperatures in the teens and single digits, that's when you're starting to get uh, onto the stink factor. And um, I don't know. Will we see that? Well, it's a possibility. It's an option that's on the table. Uh, but it's looking less and less of an option all the time to me. I'm thinking the uh, moderate temperatures sort of be where we head right now. All right, but let's talk about the next 10 days. Again, tonight, going down right around the freezing mark across the area. Maybe some patchy fog by the morning, so watch out on that morning commute again. Another warm day on Tuesday as we stay on the warm side of the systems, uh, sort of sandwiched to our south and to our north. Going up to about 50 for a high again, you really can't beat that. By the time Wednesday comes in, there's a chance, again, I showed you in the modeling, that there could be a light rain or snow shower in the area, uh, but it again is a very small chance. 30% that I've given here may even be too high. It might even be more like a 10 or 20% chance at this point if the current model trend continues. Again, not a big chance. Not everybody would see it, but mostly cloudy otherwise. Maybe not even making it to 40 on Thursday, but that's just seasonable weather. Back into the low 40s, as you can see from there on out in the outlook. And then by the time you get into Sunday night, that's when that next chance of some light snow showers maybe even turn into a potential wintry mix on Monday. We really don't know. And this far into the future, it's kind of hard to know uh, yet, folks. Potentially a bigger cool down to where we hit near the 30 degree mark, but again, I've uh, went to a more of a moderate uh, look to that. I'm not believing the uh, uh, the uh, European just at its word of saying uh, temperatures in the teens, especially when all the other models are hinting that it would be a little bit less of a cool down. So we'll have to see, but uh, this extended period of time, that's whenever we're going to watch. Still, uh, 30 for January, that's not terrible if your average is 37. That's a little bit below normal, but not too bad. All right, folks, that's it for this update. Don't forget that you can download our mobile app for Google Play and your on your Android devices or for your iPhone and your App Store as well. Just search for southernindianaweather.com and you'll be able to get a great little mobile app on the go. These uh, videos are right there in the mobile app where you can watch them. Uh, you can get our forecast discussions. You can get our 10-day forecast. Uh, great radar and a whole lot more. Be sure to download that. All right, I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a great day, folks. Enjoy this beautiful Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I'll see you next time.